Um, you wrote a book um, about your daughter, Beyonce, called Destiny Child, the untold story. How much of an impact uh, did it have on your children to be successful by having two parents in the home? I think that's key and critical. Um, I, I, I think if you look at most of us today that had two parents in their home, yeah. they're pretty stable, uh, you know, and, and their marriage is, is pretty stable. Uh, I think it's critical and, and important because in a lot of black families today, you don't have both. Yeah, yeah. Well, why do you think that's not pushed? Because one thing that my, I have a nonprofit organization called Bond, and we are rebuilding a family by rebuilding a man and you know, encouraging men to get married, men and women to get married before starting to have children because it impacts the family in a very, very good, positive way. Why do you think that's not pushed today uh, by the so-called leadership of the blacks if more, uh, there doesn't seem to be a shame about having children out of wedlock, and they are fighting the whites and trying to take from them, rather than pushing the idea of the family and then teaching their children the right way to go. Why do you think yeah, the I don't family know about is not that, pushed? That, Jesse, I, uh, I was told today we weren't talking about family values. Maybe my publicist got the wrong information. I was told we were talking about Destiny's Child. And if we're not talking about Destiny's Child, then we certainly need to reschedule this interview. Yeah, we'll get into that now. And that's why I'm asking, with your yeah. family, you came from a family. I came from a family, father, mother, grandfather, grandmother. And likewise, you, you did too. My son is doing very well. And so are your yeah. kids are doing very well. I congratulate you for that, that your son is doing well. Yeah. And so my question, by you being a professor and you out there and you see what's going on. Why do you think the family is not being pushed uh, in the black community today? I, I don't. I don't agree with that. That family is not being pushed. But again, Jesse, um, that's not why I'm here today. Uh, that's not my purpose. Uh, again, um, you know, I have a, a quite a busy schedule. If we're not going to talk about Destiny Shaw, I just really would like to end the interview. Uh, but we are talking about it. We're talking about the success of your kids due to having a family. Am I right? No, the success of my kids, you know, that's a very good uh, approach. I, I, I like that. The success of my kids uh, having a mother and father in the family. Uh, but we've already covered that. I think the role of a good parent is to guide their kids, not to direct their kids. Uh, and for them to learn, our kids learn from our failures and our successes. Yeah. We didn't always have successes. We had right. failures also. Um, so I certainly agree with you, Jesse, that it's it's important to have that that family. I, I don't think that we live in a culture and a society, uh, black folks or white folks or brown folks that don't see or understand the importance of family. I, I think we live in a, a society today this is not a black or white or, uh, or brown thing. Uh, it, it's it's just, just values uh, have changed. My, my grandfather's values were different than my parents' values. And, and I think that has a lot of to do with the current day that you live in, that we can't compare and look back in a real view, rear view mirror and, and say one was better or worse than the other. Uh, we didn't have technology when I grew up. You know, I, I didn't have a cell phone. We had a, a three-party line, as you probably remember yeah. that growing up in Alabama. I remember that. I mean, most people we talked to wouldn't have a clue what we're talking yeah. about. Right? Yeah. But, but, you know, all of that is changing. And I think the more that folks talk about it in a positive way, uh, you know, and you're right, uh, a lot of the success, because when we went into the music industry, it's an industry and the whole artistic industry. You know, a lot of those artists, this was their way out, just like with sports. It's their way out. We were fortunate for our kids. It wasn't the way out for them. 
uh, we would have been just fine if they never went into the music industry. Right. Uh, I always joke and say, if my kids said they wanted to be a doctor, Jesse, I would have told them, hey, go to medical school. And when you get out, I would have bought a hospital. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know? That's amazing. You, yeah. Are you a Christian? I believe in faith. I don't give it titles. Oh, so you know. I believe in faith. Uh, I believe in the universe. I believe if the evil that we do comes back to us in karma. I don't give it titles. I've been growing up a Baptist. Yeah. I've, I've been, I was talking about this just last day. Uh, when I married my, my, my former wife, uh, one of the uh, parts of that was I had to become a Catholic. So I was a Catholic. Yeah. Uh, I, I Then uh, we found, as a family, uh, we founded a Methodist church that, that I think currently has about 15,000 members. Uh, so I'm spiritual. Uh, I believe in faith along with science. And I believe in karma and universe. I don't believe in giving it titles, Baptist, Christian, Muslim. Uh, I, I just believe in doing the right thing in my life. 